As a team, we were really excited when the Ocean Race chose to partner with the Amoka 60. We've been around the world twice before, but in a one design boat. So taking on the design and development process was something that excited us. With the support of 11th Hour Racing, we've taken the bold step of constructing this new platform to achieve our goals, which are to win the ocean race, um, you know, starting in 22, and to inspire radical change within the marine industry. We've really tried to look at this build through a sustainable lens, working with all of our partners, the Amoka class, CDK, Air Concept, Guillaume and his team. The particularity was, was to be able to have a better functionality of the boat, to exploit better a boat compared to an open 60 where you are single-handed. For the ocean race, uh, it's very important that you have no holes in, in the polar. Quite easy to make an extremely good boat in one corner, but we don't want to be in the corner of the picture, we want to be uh, very homogeneous. So, I mean, I hope that all together we have a better homogeneity than previous boats, but uh, I don't really care to be the best downwind or the best upwind. I want, I want this full picture um, and I hope that's what we got here. One of the most important aspects of my uh, job was to gather all the technical specifications from the sailing team, making sure it was um, realistic, and then sp spread different tasks in between the design office in Merconcept. With Guillaume Verdier, we had a lot of uh, exchange about all the, the structure of the boat, also the performance aspect at the very beginning, to choose the L shape, foil design. Yeah, it has been two years, very busy. It's the first time anybody's ever tried to design and build a boat for the ocean race, uh, for crude sailing in the Amoka class, uh, but not necessarily sacrificing its ability to sail shorthanded. The boat will be extremely versatile, uh, compromised in some ways. I think in the long run, that, that'll be a good thing. We need to fit multiple people on board, so we need more space in the cockpit, we need more space down below. Um, the rules and the ergonomics around the autopilot versus physically steering the boat is something that we spend a lot of time on. A crew on board the Nimoca 60 is something new to our French culture, so we have to think a lot about that, involving the sailing team, building a mock-up, playing with all of that. That has been quite uh, tough because uh, the spec changed a bit all along the way. Um, because of the COVID situation, you know, because of uh, the number of crew members on board for the first race of the boat. From a very specific crew boat, we turn it a bit into a more versatile boat for able to be sailed by two people only. We made a lot of progress on, on having both of these boats together and uh, the balance of the boat. And we could test a lot, so that, 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 that has been a strong influence. And I think you'll see a lot of what we've learned on 11.1, on 11.2. Every single aspect of the boat, it's nice to have uh, an experimentation period before having to commit to anything. Designing the Amoka 60 has been a massive undertaking, um, certainly bigger than I ever could have imagined. Uh, we're about to launch the boat in August of 2021, and we started this process in April of 2019. It's been an intellectual challenge. Um, it's taken a city, <laughs> it's taken a country, um, it's taken a world. We, you know, we've had people all over the globe working on this project, hopefully, in the end, the boat is something that all these people can be proud of. You know, going from the drawing board to the construction is, is really exciting. And, and, and then with time, you get used to it a little bit, but it's still very beautiful when you see the, the hull going out of the plug and such a beautiful big object where you know they, they spend tens of thousands of hours to build. So it, it is very emotional all the time. I'm 
pretty confident the boat will have new behaviors with this massive foils and the Guillaume Verdier design. So I'm really proud of this boat and I'm sure it will bring a new reference in terms of Imoca performance. Mokas are generally built in four-year cycles, and it seems like every four years they take a big step on the performance side. Um, so we're excited to see what that looks like. Uh, that said, it can be a little bit frightening too, because everything's bigger, faster, unproven. We're really excited to get this boat in the water and to go sailing on it for the first time. And um, we'll be ready to sail as many days as possible between um, now and the Transat Jack Fab in uh, November.